Mike Levini. When you go and say that name in St. Louis, you're often going to get some interesting reactions. There are people who just lo love him, think he's a good manager, and saying, yeah, he has his bad moments here and there, but hey, he's gone us to the playoffs a few times. Then you have the haters who just say that he's the one who's keeping us from getting to the World Series again. He's the one who's getting us in the spot. He is the reason that we just aren't who we used to be. So, th there are just quite a few reactions you'll always get when you say Mike McPhee's name in St. Louis. But, whatever the case is, he's been fired. The word is out there, he is no longer the Cardinals manager. And a lot of people will m maybe be surprised by this, or maybe not. I'm kind of in the mix, I guess. I because I was thinking they were probably going to do this a couple years ago, but it's finally got to it. They finally had enough. The Cardinals have just... They have always been an organization that always usually choose to make the right choices. I mean, like every other organization, they will make some dumb choices, but for the most part, they've always made some really good choices, and it's benefited them. For about the last 20 years, the Cardinals have been one of the best franchises out there. They, they've gotten to the World Series quite a few times, they've won it a few times, they almost never meet the playoff, or <laughs> almost never miss the playoffs, and in about the last 20 years or so, last 30 years, they've only had, I think, maybe six, seven losing seasons in 30 years. <laughs> Which is really, really surprising. Granted, it's not as good as the Yankees, but it's still really, really good, but the Cardinals are in a little trance right now where I just, they aren't bad per se, but they're really, really mediocre. And when I say just mediocre, I mean the most mediocre. This close to bad. They, they aren't, they aren't a horrible team, but they're just boring. Whenever I just watch one of their games, I'm just like, do something interesting, do something interesting. Oh wow, another single, that hasn't happened before, and it's been like that for about the past three years, and they're just not interesting to watch anymore. I remember back in two, 2011, 2012, when they were always fun to watch. Seeing them always hit the ball and just win all those games, it was fun. And, while they do still win some good games here and there, it's just not the same. And you could say it's Muffini's fault or someone else in the upper office, but it has just been quite boring over the past few years. And w when I see this team, just what they are right now, it's just really, really sad to me. Because I want them to be good. I, I want them to go and to be the way they used to be, but... With the decisions they've been making lately, it's just... So, with Mafini getting fired, it's just... A lot of people are, always say that they like Mafini as a person, but not as a manager. Because, as a manager, he always seemed to make, to me personally, the same stupid decisions. Every time he made a dumb decision, he would make it again sometime later, as if, if he never learned his lesson. And he, while he did get us to the playoffs a few times, we had some really good seasons with him, he, he could never get us to the World Series. We got close in 2012 against the Giants. We were one game away. One game away, but then we just totally collapsed. Something just happened to our hitting and our pitching, and we completely lost it. The year after that, we uh, got to, I think, the World Series, but throughout the whole thing, we, we just weren't really that good. We played well in, I think, maybe one game, and other than that, it was just really embarrassing. Then there was the next year after that, and he made one of the dumbest decisions he could have ever made, and so... It was the bottom of the knife. 
the game I believe was tied. And San Francisco was up a game or so, and we could have brought it back to St. Louis. We could have, but Matheny made this really dumb decision. He sent out Michael Waka, who normally is a good pitcher, but at this time he had a pitch he had a pitch in a while. I mean I believe he had an injury or something like that, so he hadn't been on the mound for a while. So he sent him out in the bottom of the knife in this big game in which if we lose, we're done. He sends him out. Waka goes and puts a few people on base. So we're getting nervous. Maybe maybe he can get them out and then we can come back and then win the game. <clears throat> you know I'm not wanna know what happens next. The next guy comes up, bring his little bat around, Waka goes and throws the ball. He hit a home run, and we lost the game. Every fan saw that coming. All the experts saw that coming. Everyone except Matheny saw that coming. It was just unbelievable, and I think he did later admit it was a stupid mistake. He doesn't know why he made it, but he admit it was really stupid. But. It didn't matter if we lost, it was all over. After that, I think we went to the playoffs for another couple years or a year or so, and then we got into the position where we are right now. So, for the most part, it, it's been a fun ride for the Cardinals. They've, since 2000, they've missed the playoffs about four times or so, and they've only had one losing season since 2000, which was in 2007. And unless something can happen to go and change, it might ha happen again this year. I think we're 47 and 46 right now. So, pretty much just a 500 team. I, I forgot who they have as a temporary manager right now. I think it's one of the the hitting coaches or, or so, but he he might be the, the manager for the rest of the season until we get someone else, or if he's he just has all the answers, He'll become the next manager, but I think the former Yankees manager is going to become their their top pick right now. Mm, I mean, I can see the good and the bad from that, but I mean, he he did help them win the World Series once, but he is also the manager who had the Yankees out of the playoffs a couple times, which was unheard of for a long time, so... To me, I can see both the good and the bad of having that guy as our manager. But, Matheny is just... I like him as a person, but as a manager, he just made some really dumb decisions. But, it's going to be really sad to see him go down as the manager who was taken half, halfway through the season. It would be sad to see him as the man, seeing him as the manager who lost to 2012 and 2014 and, and LCS in embarrassing ways. That's who he is going to go down as. So, hopefully things can change for the Cardinals this season. I, I'm not really sure if they will or not. They're, like I said, they're not a terrible team, but they're just not what they used to be. Maybe the next guy can go and change all that, but Matheny... You're a good guy, but you just were never made to be the manager of the Cardinals. So, good luck to you. I hope things go well for you, but hopefully things will go well for the Cardinals as well.